my life is yours and i'll be good yeah, the light at the end of the tunnel i knew i'd meet you one day <laughs> oh that's a train bud look out <laughs> don't follow me <laughs> how are you i'm pretty good I'm, are you uh... sitting on a bouncy ball yeah that or you're calling me from the space station <laughs> <laughs> How are things in your world? Things are. Things are. Uh huh. How about you? <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. How are things with you? Well, I don't really know how to answer a question. They are okay. <laughs> They're not great. They're not bad. Nothing worth noting. Nothing overly it's, special. It's been nice talking with you. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be like that, eh? I was just thinking that for some. Okay, well, we'll talk later. Good, good. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> no, Are you good? Uh, this course is going. It's getting to the part where I'm not good at the part we're at right now, and it's the first time I've fucked up since because I've always been ahead of the course. I do all my time off. I'm just sitting here doing the the program stuff and make sure my idea is tightening up. But now we're at the part where I can't, I just, I'm lost. And I don't, I've asked for help. And even the guy who's trying to help me is like, I didn't just press the button to use the quantum physics to calculate the this. I don't fucking know what you're talking about. Like, uh, this is where my one weakness is that I never really, uh, you know, you might as well, we might as well be doing calculus or algebra right now for all the good I'm doing. It's creating websites and getting brand names and creating your, your, like, I'm supposed to be a uh, slide. I have three assignments I didn't do. Because every time I try to do them, I get fried. I'm not fucking this. Things aren't going. I get mad. And I, it's like, fuck. But if I had someone sitting here, like if Billy Bones was real, and he could actually do co computer. Hey, I didn't ask him. But uh, I, if they were sitting, because that's how I learned. Someone show me exactly what to do. But you can't explain it to me over Zoom because I don't fucking get it. Like, I don't can't find the same buttons as you and all this shit. Like, it's just. Well, have you shared screen? Yeah, we could do that, but it's it's like, no, because the guy called didn't really have much time. He gave me a half an hour, but he's also like, it was funny because the first 15 minutes was me explaining the fucking idea. And he's like, you know, it's good that you explain that because this whole time I thought you were talking about building like, it was completely not even close to what I was talking about. Like he thought I was selling vertical farming, like the stuff you grow on the side of your house and stuff. Right. And that's what I wanted to offer First Nations communities. I'm just like, well, you know, we have clarification. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you thought that was a good idea. <laughs> Wait till you see this one. <laughs> I got a machine that can turn into three machines. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really frustrating because I'm just I need someone who's good at this shit and and to help me walk it through time. So what do you work at? So what is it they're working on? Um, well, it's taking your business model canvas and putting it, it's like creating your own website, your own web page, trying to get your name, domain and all that stuff. Like your mother's hands is already chosen by someone, right? What? <laughs> we'll have to send Jimmy over. <laughs> well, there's a bunch, like, it's just, it's, it's, I'm not, I guess I wasn't prepared for, uh, I don't know how to put it to you. I'm just, I'm, I'm frustrated. That's all. So I've got class tonight and I'm going to have probably would be one of the only people who didn't do fuck all. What, what website builder did they suggest? Um, what was it called again? Fucking huffle stuffle or something. I can't remember. I have to get my books. Like I didn't really want to get all into that. Just most of talking to you and see how you're doing, but well, maybe I can help you. Where I'm kind of like fucking frustrated. Yeah. I don't want to be the guy who doesn't do his homework or doesn't have the shit done. I'm also kind of like flailing in my life in general. And I'm just like, today's my day to kind of like <sighs> step away from some stuff and uh, focus more. Because I can't, I'm kind of like, I don't know. Maybe I just need someone to talk to, I guess. and don't really have anyone to talk to, Elijah. Well, this is where I come in. 
because <laughs> basically everything you're doing, trying to do, I've done and failed at a lot, but enough to learn a few tricks. Because you probably could, like, if we could do the Zoom sharing thing and I could pull up my phone, I might be able to. I would suggest using Weebly. One, because I use it, and two, it's easy, and three, I can teach you in it. <laughs> and it's Weebly. Okay. Okay, here's the ones they want us to use. Because then you'll have a better idea where we're, we're at. Uh, where was it here? WordPress or uh, Wix. So once you get to website, web tools, here we go. Ha hatchful. And so the reason why the guy who's teaching us in the program right now has made millions of dollars, he's only 25 years old. He started the program. He started a business program with the same Gustafson School of Business when he was like 19 or something. Uh -huh. The way he just really took to everything that the main course guy kind of like took him under his wing and, and kind of like a mentored him, apprenticed him. So this guy, that's what he makes his living on. Like he's sitting there talking to us and he's making money on web tool things that he's working on as he talks to us. The guy knows his shit. Like he's, he's, he's making whatever. So he's like, these are the ones I use because they're the easiest to just throw in some, a header, pick a template. And then once you have that, you can go and f fuck around with it and change things and blah, blah, blah. And he gave us some good advice and examples of here's what good websites look like. Here's what some shitty websites would look like and why they don't work. And so he kind of walked us through that stuff. But then when I go to do it, I'm like, I got frustrated because the name was taken. I'm trying to like, should I register the name first? Like I'm all this stuff. And then talking to me, I says, you know what? Don't even worry about all that shit. He's like, your idea is good. Now that you've explained it fully to me, your guys, your idea is really good. So just keep working on making sure you have a clear vision and blah, blah, blah. Remember, this is for other people also who need more web presence and stuff where what you're doing you can work on later the main point is getting your damn presentation together yeah you got your powerpoint ready and worry about websites and shit later right yeah i agree he's right like i can obviously work with you and you and i can help create that together and finding a name that works and all that stuff but i've got my vision it's just like i keep taking silly advice from people and it kind of sounds all good in the moment but then it starts taking me off the original fucking course you know what i mean what advice um stuff like well why don't you open up uh you know wherever you build the warehouses on the reserve why don't you also build a small storefront right hmm. that way you can sell the food directly to the first nations community right from the storefront or right from the warehouse which sounds like a great idea but then the complications of starting up and the health requirements and the fucking everything. And I'll never, the more parts I add to the machine, the less six, the probability of success I will have. Right. And the whole first thing is just get the damn land from the song keys because you have a good presentation. Maybe get the donated, the building built by them because you have a good idea and they believe in it or federal funding to get the building done. And then whatever grants and stuff you get, you use that. <coughs> Right. And it, the sooner you can start making money, the sooner that's it. Right. It's just fucking that's it. So, yeah, I just. Uh, I'm panicky today because I'm going to do something you don't like and you wouldn't approve of, but I'm kind of freaked out a little bit because I have to do it. And uh, it sucks that I have to do it, but I'm kind of tripped out a little bit. So I'm anxiety what do you mean me something i wouldn't like what yeah because i know you really well and if i say it you're just it's gonna upset you and you're gonna get pissed off at me you gotta beat somebody up no 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 i gotta take the vaccine today oh i have to do it because it's the only way i can guarantee uh you know getting across the borders and getting on planes to go see my daughter and stuff and i don't nothing will get in the way of that so well you don't quite know that yet yeah I mean, the vaccine passport isn't here yet is it i don't know yet I, I i don't know and if it is i just don't i don't want anything to get in the way of me seeing my daughter some emergency and i have to go see her and i can't so i'm doing this simply because of that and not of anything else not that i believe in this or disbelieve in that i'm doing it simply 
to go see my daughter or to be able to go see my parents if one of them dies i don't have you know what i'm saying like my mom's really sick and i'm pretty sure she's not gonna make the year well my mom took it and called me an idiot for not taking it just in the last couple of days and i just i just keep seeing all this division between you know the taking and not taking people who do and don't i mean it's that's the hard part for me i mean it, it, to me this there's just such a because before this right everyone was getting vaccines and no one was having a big deal over who had it and who didn't no. but now it's like fuck. well that's it like at the end of the day it doesn't you know i don't understand a lot of it i don't i understand a lot of it but at the end of the day it comes down to personal choice and just like your clothes do you give a fuck what anyone tells you about the clothes you wear no so why would you care if you got a vaccine or i didn't or you did or i didn't none of that matters the fuck if someone wants to be that you know for whatever their reason because some people are doing it blindly because they trust the government and they trust the company and they trust the corporations well that you know that's fine that's your reasons but i do it hesitantly and with a little nudge of fear given the some of the side effects so i told my girl today that if i go there and it's the astrazeneca or the johnson and johnson i'm just walking i'll just tell them to schedule it when you got the other one because the other one hasn't had almost any complaints or really about it where the other ones have like the thing about causing blood clots and all that kind of shit well, that's where strokes come from and stuff you know you take a fucking vaccine next thing you know a couple hours later you have a fucking stroke and you'll never walk again or something like that so that's why I'm not interested in that one. <clears throat> as far as the rest goes, like nanites in the thing or this, that, and the other thing, there's so much crap in my fucking body from my shitty diet and all the drugs I've done. That little tiny nanites are the least of my fucking worries. They track everything I fucking do. They're listening to me talk to you right now on this cocksucker. Like, I'm not worried about it, man. I just, who am I? I'm not a state national terrorist or something. Or, oh, I said terrorist. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> well, you're talking to uh, <coughs> someone who's notorious <coughs> somewhere. Is it a dog <coughs> on you that maybe you think you are, but really you're not? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm always I'm always striving <laughs> to bring more significance to myself and my, my plan because it seems to have none. So I... I I, I, any chance I get to pull it in? Violence anywhere, you're not promoting, like, let's use rockets and fucking bomb the cap, you know? So really, you're, you're talking about good ideas, but for them, they're worried more about the people who are like, you know, let's start a native warrior fucking society or shit like that, you know what I mean? Hey, can I, can I read you something? Sure, I don't know, can you? Yeah, um... <laughs> And this is, you know, a few times you brought up the point that, you know, you might not want to associate you with me based on whatever your, your something in your past. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm as bad in terms of <laughs> being associated with me. <laughs> you know, I, I've got my own sort of large litany of, let's say, uh, reputation destroying things. And I, I was in this game, the game I'm playing, right? And there's a guy who's a programmer. And uh, I was thinking, I want to find some programmers. And but it takes a special type of programmer, right? Like to me, you need a sense of humor. You need, you know, to to do what we got to do. It's so different and so unique that you you can't just be a normal sort of person. Mm -hmm. The norm is it's it's like it it doesn't go. So anyway, so I I asked this guy from in the game, and then he came out. We emailed and. Uh, he just sort of, we exchanged names and he Googled my name. <laughs> Can I read you what he wrote? <laughs> just so you understand that the, okay. I'm going to have to pass on any and all projects. I Googled your name. Though I agree with some things you seem to stand for, I greatly resent the way you present your content. I believe you're doing much in big words, big letters, more harm to your cause and good. To the typical liberal, you're speaking tongues and your charts look like they're made of a cult, made for a cult. You will never convince new people to join you by making yourself look like a lunatic. Instead, you'll drive them away quickly. You need the masses to affect real change. And by association, you're making your non-radical non contemporaries work so much harder to make themselves look legitimate. 
I'm not saying this to be disrespectful. Like I said, I agree with many of your causes. I just need to be honest with you about the way it all plays to someone who isn't part of your group. Best wishes. Good luck. Well, that was nice. Two nice things and a mean thing. <laughs> <laughs> Awfully diplomatic of them. So, does that lift your spirits? Put a little wind in your sails? <laughs> it's, you know, it's, I appreciate people's honesty and I appreciate, you know, when people who, I don't get a lot of, let's say, negative feedback. I just like, I'm in, I'm in this silence. People like him, if they come across me, usually won't even say anything. But he's just, programmers are pretty sort of by the book in a sense, right? They're all at war with each other in some way. <coughs> so, but it did, like, it, to me, it's like, that's fuel. Mm -hmm. That's fuel for, you know, for, like, to me, camouflage is camouflage. And camouflage keeps people like him away. Mm -hmm. I don't want to participate with people like him anyway. Because it's like, what there is, is uh, assessment without investigation. Yeah. There's no, no... On the web, you must know everything about Elijah. <laughs> yeah, like if that's what you see, and that's that, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Fucking exactly. <laughs> and I think what you said about the Hioka or just like playing the clown where... You play the clown to get rid of the people who just shouldn't be there in the first place, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And the, the sad thing is it gets away most people. <laughs> it's most, like, craziness. I mean, there's just, I think in Vancouver too, right? There's just like a, if you've been a lot of, around a lot of craziness in your own life, you don't have a lot of room for more craziness, right? True enough. Well, yeah, then we got to agree on terms as to what craziness is, because that's a word oft misused and, and whatnot, right? And what you what some would call craziness to other people is like, at least he's doing something, at least he's trying, at least he's fucking coming up with alternatives, at least he's letting his intuition and guidance fucking find a way rather than sitting behind a computer and writing scathing fucking reviews of people's fucking existences and shit. You know what I mean? Like, you go about change the world, you know. <laughs> but like, you know, I, 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 uh, I understand that you get a lot of flack. I'm not, you know, I'm aware of that. I'm aware that you, you have a subversive personality in some cases, because that's your nature, you know. Like, and until you see justice, and and you see, you know people making an effort to save the planet and, and get rid of all these things you're going to be that voice that's needed and that voice that no one gets to tell you how to be that voice you know your job is to just be the fucking voice and the rest is on you and like i said you're responsible for the transmission not for the reception right and if no one's listening that's on them you just keep transmitting and eventually you will find people who are like hey this guy's got something to fucking say Remember, man, like a lot of times people, the most genius people in their lifetime were vilified and considered crazy and subversive and, and satanic and like all kinds of shit. But then when they died, someone read their journal and was like, holy fuck, this guy's on fire. You know what I mean? Like, listen to shit he said. And then you start teaching it to our kids in school. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, <laughs> but he couldn't get a fucking smile to save his life. So when he was alive, so, you know. I would say just keep transmitting, man. Yeah. But it's it's interesting because, like, I feel like I haven't, let's say, been in the battlefield. I haven't really – I go on to the – every once in a while, but it's like most of the time I'm, like, <laughs> hiding in the cave and not interacting with people. And so – and I think in this last while, probably for a lot of people, right, when you rec recluse a lot – you lose touch with sort of like where people are at because you're in your own world all the time. Now, before you be getting your feedback and I'm getting like the feedback to me is through the net and with people like you or people I'm close to, but out there, it's like a fucking different world by far. No fucking no. No and, it, and it's kind of like, like from like that messenger point of view, like I think at some point I'll start speaking at the freedom rallies, but I haven't been invited and it doesn't feel not, right yet. Is that funny? I'm not at a freedom rally. I'm not free to speak at a freedom rally. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
you know, and it's it's kind of like I think once I start talking or once I get an audience, I mean, then it's the game's on kind of thing, right? Like I've never really spoken to a large audience or had like many people even have any idea what I'm talking about. And at some point, you know, you've got to come out with your game. You've got to come out with, okay, if you really want to teach something, you have to be able to teach it to a large group of people. Have you been, uh, once this COVID shit's over, have you tried smaller venues, like a smaller thing to practice a few times, like a coffee shop or an open mic or some shit where you just practice your shit? And then- I, uh, well, my practice is with the videos. That's where I do my, and that's, that's horrible practice because it's by myself in a room talking to nobody. <laughs> it's hard. Eh? It's a totally different fucking way to do things. That's for sure. Well, like, I like it. Like I actually, like, it's like, it's like talking to a room of people and they're all warm to you yeah. versus talking to a room of people that all hate you yeah. depending on your position and how you look in such things. Right. I mean, the freedom rally would be a pretty warm crowd considering, but I think you have to go into the cold crowds. You have to go in front of everyone in some sense and speak your message. And as you said, a lot of times they don't want to hear it. They don't want to, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear you. And if you're good, um, don't give a fuck, right? They're just not listening to you. You know, <coughs> I have found is pro apathy is probably one of the worst things in humanity. It's one of the ugliest parts of us. Mm. It's, it's just, and I've found it in my own life. I bump into it even with my friends. Like I'm in the thing, you know, on my own personal struggles, I'm learning that I've wasted so much time and energy talking to people for no reason or point whatsoever possibly mm-hmm. because i feel like i've got something to share or whatever but then i come to this big fucking wall of no one gives a fuck james none of your friends listen to your advice not any of them well i mean i can't say that's generalization almost none of my friends listen to me ever when i give them great advice for my own personal life or shit they just don't listen and then i realize and i've had this happen a couple of times now where I'm just talking all the damn time. So if I don't talk, they don't either. Now we're just sitting there with crickets in the background. And so I've been learning how to like, you know, shut the fuck up for one is my ex. Like I want to get it tattooed. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I give you a, a huge piece of advice here? Yeah. <laughs> um, or counsel or insight or something, which, cause I think we share the same thing here. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a massive difference between people that pay you to be around you, to learn from you, versus friends you hang out with. True enough. Who you admire, who you like being with, who you might you know, be in some sort of mentor relationship with, but it's all not through real agreement, and it's nothing compared to you teaching people who pay you to teach, they're there to, te- to listen, and they are listening mm. and you have not experienced that to me to the degree you need to. So you understand that's a big difference. I don't want to do this anymore. Or if I'm doing this, you're coming to my class. Yeah. And yeah. I am the teacher and you are paying me and fuck that noise. If you're not going to listen to me and I'm in my teacher, like that's the difference between you hanging out with peers or friends or just anybody versus hanging out with your students. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that, that, that again, I don't have, I haven't created a platform for that or even know what I would do instead. <clears throat> what I've thought of doing is between me and the fence was I just thought of learning how to do vlogs and stuff and post stuff on Facebook, like that thing I told you about, which I still haven't done with the, uh, the doing, using that email you showed me to get a create, you know what I mean? An account where I can go on to Facebook or, um, youtube or facebook under another alias type of thing that's quasi legal yeah around their little stuff so that i can post things like have billy bones talk in here but it's my voice or something like that and then use a vpn to kind of like cover my tracks kind of thing right so i still want to do that because i have some like i keep thinking i'll go on these every day i go for about a two or three hour walk 
And on those walks, it's usually always by myself. And I'm usually thinking of things like things I would like to say if I was speaking to a crowd or something like that. If I had a select group of people who were in agreement with me, what would I say to those people? Like, what would my message be? And so I've decided to break it up into segments and just deal with an issue at a time. And I just talk for, you know, 10, 15 minutes on that particular issue. And then, you know, maybe there could be a platform where people are interested in it. They can fucking pay to watch the video type of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? And then if I get enough interest, then I can do like a private uh, Zoom thing with a whole bunch of people where they're paying me and I can talk to them kind of thing, you know? So that's something I hear what you're saying. And it's something I've thought of. I just don't know, you know, again, anything to do with computers. And I just, my brain shuts the fuck down. It's not how my brain works. And other people, their brain works for that stuff, just like math and me. You get me into language, get me an anthropology, get me into cult, like anything like that, I'm your fucking guy. But you take me into computer land or math land, I just, it, I get so frustrated. It's so easy. I lose my patience, everything. Because it's just, I feel so foreign in it. And then it kind of shuts me up. But if I had a helper, someone who was good at that shit, that would be fucking, you know what I'm saying? But it's just... We got to work on our, you know, play our strengths and stuff, and and try to work on our weaknesses, which I'm doing. But we have to recognize sometimes those weaknesses are there for a reason. That's not what you're supposed to. You know what I mean? If you try to get good at everything, you'll be good at nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like in defense. If you try to be, you know, in in, in art of war, if you try to defend everywhere, you're going to create weaknesses everywhere concentrate your defense on where the attack is and you can give more of yourself to that defense do you know what i mean yeah <clears throat> same thing with skills if you try to spread yourself out all over you'll never really be good at any of those skills but you know you so play your strengths kind of thing i'm gonna smoke in the house no one's home let's do it Remember when I filmed you and loaded you up on the net? Say again? Remember when I filmed you and loaded you up on the net? Yeah. How long ago was that? A while ago, I guess, yeah. How many years? The first time? Two, three, three, four. I'm usually three years ahead of time. Yeah. In the present moment. That's what fucks me up. Wow. How many people watched that again? <laughs> Three years later. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> Five people. Woo! <laughs> Imagine that, eh? I'm noticing this even on Facebook. My girlfriend tells her I should chill because it's just the algorithm. But I'll put some deep shit up that I mean only because I only have for my friends. I don't post anything public. But then I'll get nobody. Three or four people. They're always the same three or four people will like, hey, man, that's deep. Or a comment even or something. Like, Brent, you can guarantee fucking deep. And it's always a gif. Or it's always a meme with a big quote from someone else as his response every time to some I write. And very rarely is his personal perspective on anything, but it's always some relevant quote from something else. But that's it. I'll get a heart on occasion or a like, but no one actually fucking, let's have some discourse here. Do you agree, disagree, like nothing? I actually feel like most of my friends have unfollowed me, that we're still friends, but they unfollow me. So just... do, you, do you ever tag people? No. <coughs> I mean, I have it even worse. Mm. I have it on my stream. I tag the people I want to have discourse with, which is like a little doorbell knocker going ding, ding, ding. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Who do not respond. Mm -hmm. So it can get worse. <laughs> and then that, that makes gives me a sense of futility. It starts to make me feel like, what's the fucking point, man? No one's listening to me anyways. I should just write this all down. And when I die... Hopefully some of I can pick it up and be like, hey, it's good. Well, wait a second. You're doing the same thing which I'm doing. And you were saying, hey, man, just 
worry about the message. Don't worry about, you know, how it's land. Like, mm -hmm. like right now, I wouldn't think about that stuff just because you should be focusing on your business. Yeah. Well, I'm on a downturn right now. Is uh, you know how life is, right? Then I'm in a okay. self-reflecting, self-deprecating <laughs> cycle where I start doubting all my friends and doubting all the purpose of what I'm doing. And should I even be doing this or should I just go back to fucking work? Like my girlfriend needs fucking serious time off and she's thinking of quitting her job and like all this stuff, right? So I'm like, should I just fucking fuck all this and go back to what I know? You know what I mean? Like I get this is how I am in a downturn. I'll, I'll question everything. I start questioning my relationship and she, you know, fuck all this stuff. And then I'll start, to, Oh, I love life again. Everything's going good. And Hey, I'm in a business course. Life's awesome. You know what I mean? I just, I'm, I'm what two months into this course and I'm having this, I've kind of hit this wall and hopefully it's going to pass soon because I'm the type of guy just, ah, oh, fuck it. Burn everything. Fuck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> And then a couple of weeks later, I'm like, fuck, why did I do that? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear you. Well, I think at least on my end, I can help you on the, the website building side. We could go into Zoom. Mm. I could show you how to get started. Mm. Um, and show it's fun. I tell you, man, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's like once you get the basic page structure and then how to add elements to a page, mm -hmm. simple, simple stuff. You're just you're dragging and dropping and you're just placing things. Yeah. And so what I you know, I'll teach you just simple streams, a simple way to do it. Mm -hmm. That works really well, really nice. And you what, what what's going to be perfect for you is just your choice of videos that support your argument. Mm -hmm. I'll help create the structure for the website which is basically the structure for your business plan, which is basically the structure of the inflow matrix. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've already got a whole, like I actually have, I'll send it to you as soon as we're done. Cause I have to go soon, but um, I'll send you what I've compiled uh, uh, on YouTube, which is I, I called the playlist original as an original title, original peoples. So in that, there's only some like 12 videos in it, but most of them are have to do with the vertical farming and projects that are already up and running. So there's little clips you can show of the machinery doing its thing in the warehouse that could be put on the page, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Some of them are desalination videos, like the best current desalination tech out there. Uh, things like uh, energy generation. So it's all things for the original title movement, right? And I spoke with Morris the other day and there's a ma major case going on next month and it's up near Courtney, Campbell River. And there's a guy named Woodward, something Woodward, who's the main lawyer for that. And he says what's going to come out of this case is going to rock BC. And then he's representing the Nichalneth people in, in this thing, getting exactly what Morris is doing. Same kind of thing. And it's about original claim. So this it's all this stuff's happening. I'm just I just want to fucking get this down thing out of the way so I can get out of that negative headspace that I'm in and focus again and get back to that. Thing. and talking to you kind of helps me a bit because i haven't really had any people i don't have anyone really to talk to most of my friends are not on the same level you and i are and they just can't understand so they get this far away glazed look in their eye and i know it's time to shut up <laughs> you know what i mean like it's, you know what i mean <laughs> but it, but again the kind of like what i see is you again are just you're not distinguishing the uh these fields yeah who should I be? Yeah, exactly. Like it, your audience, it, right? Just look above me, right? Like, I mean, here, you're going into the friendship field. <coughs> I'm right there, sorry. I'm just getting ready to go. <laughs> like, you're, you're in the friendship field, and you're assessing their relationship to your business field. Mm -hmm. right? You're not distinguishing these two. And you hold them together and then you assess your abilities, you assess context, you assess your results when that was just a fusion that killed it. Yeah. Almost like they say in that old adage, keep for your friends and business separate. Same thing on that, like this business service social, that should be one part of it. And intimacy, friendship, family, that's your personal life. That's your, your other thing. And don't let the two mix, you know. So again, the maps, 
are your distinctions and then you look from the conceptual into the real world and you see the difference of the fields and then you communicate based upon which field you're in and all the other distinctions which you define by sort of designing your ideal. Mm. You're moving into your ideal. So the, the clearer you get about what it is, don't worry about the tools. I can, everything that you just talked about, you know, I can help you with. Mm -hmm. I can do, I, I know about the filming. I know about the editing. I know about the, the website builder, the CRM, the project management system. I mean, that's my, that's where I'm focusing and then relating it to these maps. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I will help you. I've got all the, the, the rest of it that's done. That's what this course does is it gets through these little, <laughs> these things we've been going through. It steadily, steadily keeps getting you to refine, refine, refine your vision, refine your fucking who you're working, who you, who's your main people you're trying to sell to, who, what's the, what's the part of the market you're, what do you know about the people, like all that stuff. So they're getting your vision and, and everything into this kind of, and compressing it so that's where i'm at so i've got a really good i'm so awesome awesome then we'll just translate it down to the website yeah. and so i have all these notes and like i told you i've been ahead of the game this whole time except i hit the wall last thursday and normally we have a sunday class i probably could have worked through it on sunday but it was mother's day so we didn't have a class and so today after like my girlfriend's birthday blah, 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 all this crap i'm still like oh shit so yeah, I'm not gonna. He told me not to worry about it as much. He said it's more for other people who did it. He says you you have time to work on yours, which took a weight off my shoulders because I felt I was flailing there. So <laughs> I got you. I gotta go just because it's time. I got an appointment for the shot and everything. So um, uh, okay, we should set up time. We should set up time where we're working. Let's say at least a couple hours just on that. Okay um tomorrow morning tomorrow around lunch um wednesdays are free except i got plans at four Twelve to two yeah okay I'll bring my notebook and everything else so that I've, I have everything I need. And I've filled out some of the stuff already. So I can kind of show you a little bit of some of the stuff I have. And then as a guideline, and then we can just tighten it up as we go. Because the, the end result for me is that A, I know how to write grant proposals. B, I know I have my business plan up and running and ready to go. C, I've decided exactly if I'm going to be going Nonprofit, corporated or incorporated, right? I have to know that before I can, because it's going to defend. It's going to define what kind of grants I can get, and and you know what I mean, that kind of stuff. So by that time, by the end of this course, what I want to, that's what I'm trying to get out of this is a how to learn to write a business plan, how to write grant proposals, and b how to do PowerPoint presentations for investors. So that's really all I wanted out of this course. And I've had the idea and it's been in my head and this has helped me tighten it up. But at the end of the day, that's my three goals of the course, right? So, okay, Elijah, let's talk tomorrow. Okie dokie. You have a good day, my man. Thanks for taking the time. I appreciate it. Okay. See you. Peace.